Hey, it's Jimmy the Bad Vapor. Today I've got the Pioneer for Use IPv3. It's a nice sleek little box here. A lot of power in this little box here. Uh, she's got 510 adjustable connections. They're floating, so everything sits flush. Um, she's all aluminum billet. As you can see, she's got a milled front, so the face of the unit there. All your stuff is see it's sitting there it's nice and flush on that body uh, I mean this thing is it is built very nicely very durable too uh, wife actually threw this thing uh, by accident across the room hit table thing still works beautifully it's just fires great I wouldn't suggest throwing it but if it ever falls I don't think you have too much to worry about um, has a USB cable on the front there I'm sorry, on the back bottom. Uh, that is not for charging. There is no charging through USB on this. This is for updates only through your computer. Uh, it comes out of the box as a 150 watt device. They've already got an update to make it a 165 watt device. So uh, this is now already updated myself to this 160, uh, which also lowers the resistance down to 0.08 ohms versus the 0.1 ohms. Uh, so now you get out of point oh eight. Uh, it also changes the readout. As you can see, there you go. As you see, the ohms do read into the point to the you know the, the hundredth. You got point five, point one point oh six on there or something here. One one point oh eight ohm cool on there. Before it would just read you one ohm and round it up or down. Uh, so the update took care of that at the end of the video. I'm going to show you how you do update this, which is really simple um, the uh, Batteries it's two 18650 uh, Batteries I'll open the compartment in a second show you not much to see in there. It's just two small batteries It comes with two different kinds of screws you can have the Screws that come in it, which are like a box head, and it comes with a little sp tiny screwdriver, and it also comes with the Phillips head screws. I prefer using the Phillips head screws because if you lose that little screwdriver, how are you going to get that thing off of there? You might find a box head to work in there. Right. There's the inside, neat and clean. Put your batteries in there, it's a little piece, pull them out. No adjustments in there. There is a video tutorial somebody else has about putting magnets on top of where the screw holes are and you can make this a magnetic back uh, I'm thinking about doing it I'm not sure yet pop that back on uh, but the unit itself uh, is one is it one watt to seven watts I'm sorry volts one watt to seven volts seven watts to a hundred and sixty five watts now so you're buying a hundred fifty watt device and you're getting actually getting a hundred sixty five watt device and there are future updates coming out. Uh, they say they could go up to 200 watts on this device. We'll have to see if it does. I think it'd handle a lot more myself. Right now it's 165 watts. Got around 44 watts right now. Fire's great. Fire's every time. Uh, everything sits flush on it. And I'll show you here. Before they did the update, you can see it's got the touch sensor, which is not working at the moment. They do not have that active. When I first got it, if you held down the fire button and the first button, you could turn the touch sensor on and off. But it was still the chip wasn't like letting it turn on. Uh, there is wires going to the touch sensor, which tells me that it possibly could be turned on. And in the box, it comes with the Phillips head screws to change it over to Phillips. It comes with the user manual and everything like that, which it really doesn't tell you much. This tells you you got, got a 150 watt device, how to turn on and off, hold the two buttons down, two uh, up and down buttons to lock it. Uh, the neat thing about it though, it instead of just going up and down, let me get focused in there. Instead of just going up and down with your watts, they're preset. So it comes, when you first get it, it'll come with 7 watts. And it's focused in the other day. Comes with, uh, 
uh, with 7 watts to 150 watts after the upgrade goes up. But all you do is once you get the find a setting you want, like uh, right there it says 30 watts. You press the down button a couple times and your wattage will go down and then you can go up. So I'll put this one at 35 watts for that setting. As soon as you hit the fire button one time, that locks it in. Now you can go to your next setting. Uh, 35, I got 43, 100, 157, 10 watts, 35 watts again. You can have individual settings for that. So you can, for every one of your addies, you can have a different setting. So when you put one on, just hit it and put your setting on there and you're ready to go. Because uh, with a dripper, I've gone up to 165 watts with a dripper. Uh, holds it pretty well. Nice and warm, I'll tell you that. Like This is the um, Limo tank. And I usually, usually go around 43, 44 watts. She, uses, she works great. Now, if you go ahead and put on something big, like here's a 26650 mod dripper. Put that on there. And unbelievably, even a 26650, it doesn't hang over too, too extreme. Uh, a, little, a little more on one side than the other, but it's not that bad. It kind of looks pretty cool on there, but if you take this baby up and put it at 157 watts, she'll handle it. And that's with a uh, 0.3 ohm pulls, so she's getting what is that? 6.9 volts. And I'm gonna take her up, take her up to 165 watts. That's 7.15 volts. A little more juice on that. Little smacks, Sammy puffs. Ooh, she'll chuck it. But uh, yeah, this unit well worth the money. Um, I picked up mine at Vapor Alley for about one fifty. And uh, factory sealed, she's, you know, authentic and everything. All right, the pros and the cons. Uh, big pro is the dual battery. Uh, I can run it 44 watts all day, all night. I've gone over, let's see, not charged my battery for around 28 hours. That's over a full day. And it still had juice in there, or, you know, battery battery power. I went and put a new, fresh new set in there after that, but... I used it all day and never had to switch my battery. And I was not just at 44, I also was at 100 watts a couple times, just blowing some bigger clouds out. So the battery battery life is great on this unit. She'll last you all day if you're just vaping a tank or a small Addy. Uh, I did vape a larger device on there at uh, 26650. I'll get about three or four hours out of that. Which that's a plus, but the whole the whole thing is you're getting that whole 150 or 44 watts, whatever you're putting on, you're getting it from start to beginning. So that is a major plus with this unit. Um, another plus is the durability of it and the feel of it. And truthfully, the great plus is you're getting updates on this thing. You bought 150 when they first came out, they were 100 and they went to 150. Now they're 165. So there's a giant plus. You're buying a 150 watt unit, and it goes up to 165 as soon as you take it home. Uh, could go up to as much as 200 or more. It's hard to tell what they're going to do, uh, and if they're going to activate that touch sensor. Uh, some people don't like that. Uh, the only con that I can really find about this whole box, because everything fits flush, it looks good, uh, fits great in my pocket. The only con I've got is when you take out the battery, it doesn't have a battery backup in it of some sort to hold those settings for your power. So when you go ahead and mess with your settings in there and you go ahead and put say 10 watts, 50 watts, 100 watts, whatever, they go back to the original settings each time you take the batteries out. So once a day, every time you put the batteries back in, you cannot, you've got to re reset your settings. Uh, it might be a con for some people that there's no USB charging on this, and this is the newer one, so there's no charging port there either. People were frying them by charging them there. Um, they, they, you just don't, you have to take the batteries out to charge. So that might be a con to some people. It's not for me. It takes a couple seconds to put a new battery in. But like I said, that port is only for updates. There's no charging through this device. 
Um, other than that, she is a great unit. Well, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to update these, and uh, then I'll show you. Everything. Okay, once you go ahead and go to your Pioneer for You website, you can download, look at stuff here. Go to downloads, and you got an IPv3 upgrade and a SXI upgrade. It says upgrade, like a uh, great when I upgrade. Uh, so you go download both of these files and save them to your computer. Once you do that, you're going to install the drivers from this SX upgrade. And once you do that, this is going to pop up here on your screen after you install it. Little program of theirs. You got connection, upgrade, settings, and information. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to take your device, you're going to take your batteries out, and make sure your batteries are out. Um, and go ahead and plug in the cord to the computer, USB, and plug it into your USB, your device. You're then going to hit the connection button. You got install driver. When you first install this program, you're going to hit install driver to your computer. That's going to install the driver for this thing. But after you've done all that, like I said, you're going to plug it all in and you're going to hit connect. Me, I don't have a device fan, it's not connected. But uh, once it's connected, you'll say device is connected. Then you uh, go back out to the upgrade button and you're going to open your file. And I'll show you right here. Here's where I downloaded mine. Oh, let me go back out. Let's see. Find them. Uh, you just, wherever you download it to the first time, uh, after you extracted it, that file, that 165 upgrade file, you'll open that file. Then you'll just press the upgrade button, and it takes a matter of seconds, and then you're fully upgraded. Well, that was Jimmy the Mad Vapor with the IPv3 from Pioneer for You. Uh, great device. I highly recommend this. To me, this would be the last box I ever buy. This thing is sweet. Unless there's something better out there that I'm not, nah, I haven't tried yet. This thing is, does everything I want to and more. Uh, that was Jimmy the Mad Vapor, and I'll see you next time.